Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. What I'm going to talk about is an early Edison 1898 or so standard and how do you adjust things on these. And this is the gear train because these run two minute. And they're, this one's pretty quiet. They get noisy. Even our one clip standard we have is noisy like this. But how do you adjust all the play in here and in this? Well, on Edison's, you have this screw right here. And on the lead screw, there's one at each end. And what this does is, is it gives you the tension of the bearing. And it's easier to explain on this one. Each end of the mandrel bearing has the same thing. You have a screw that holds it in place, you have the bearing, and you have this tensioner. So if you're going to adjust to get it to run just like that, that run, it's running very freely. And there's just a little bit of play. And I have the same little bit of play back in here to get everything to run smoothly. So to adjust that, it's extremely easy. I'll move this back here. All you do is you undo the end gate bearing, the Maybe screw. Do, what, that you, undo, one? you undo this little screw, and then with your finger, you tighten this one up. So watch. Now it, it, came, it came to a screeching halt. Now what you do is you back it off. Just a little bit of a turn. And give it a push, a little more, pinch, now you check the bearing, we go in just a little bit, now we tighten the screw up. Because sometimes when you tighten that, this screw up, it'll move the bearing. Running extremely freely. And the gear train is the same way. Very quiet. I had to re-bend the end that holds this. It was really wobbling. But when you bend them back into place, if you see it, it moves a little, but the centerpiece is running, so it will track perfectly with the belt. You'll see when I do it. You don't want to go to the expense of changing this whole shaft out if, it, if you can get them to run smoothly. And these are notoriously weak. I mean, you barely touch them in these. That little 1 8 inch shaft just bends. These are just little nuances you need to know about how to set up an Edison standard like this. You know, you need to have the mandrel, everything. The other, other problem is this and the half nut that go onto the lead screw. In adjusting this, you have to bend this up or down. There's no adjustment except for a little bending. And then I've talked about setting these up, and that's what you have to do. That's the next thing you have to do is set up the lead screw and the half nut. You know, this hobby is a lot of fun, and that's my tip for the day.